Good morning. Uh, I'm going to record this, so I'll play it back. So I'll begin early. Not that many people join my Instagram anyway. A couple of hundred, maybe. Let me say this. I was asked to to speak about this uh, attack on the founding fathers, and in light of it becoming the 50th birthday of hip hop, I figured I'd share something because I was asked uh, from a friend. He sent me the comments from the DJ Academics. I don't know who Academics is, but I know that he's popular amongst young people. Let me say this: hip hop has. Uh, and the founding fathers, without Hollywood and Chiba and Starsky and Cool Herc and Busy B and Love Bug, and without Grandmaster Flash and Grand Wizard Theodore, and without those people, I wouldn't be here. But I was there before there was such thing as records. These are people who played the parties that Rush Productions promoted. So they are the founding fathers, and they created hip hop. And no, they didn't all get so much money. But as, as far as money, hip hop has been great because it's given people ways to survive and other people have become extremely rich. I mean, I remember working with artists who were the biggest of the big and some of them are not so wealthy today. I remember signing paperwork for Jay-Z and Kanye West and they're pretty rich. So I've seen it all, and I was there before rap records, as I said, and I look at hip hop as a way to empower others. When you get older, maybe, if you get older, Mr. DJ, you will also look at hip hop that way. Because in the end, life only gives you a comfortable seat. And memories, and my memories of people like great -grand the great Grandmaster Flash and his rapper Melly Mel, let me see. People in place to base in the face, you're about to see first place in the rap race. The sounds you hear, so good to hear. Have no fear, the great Grandmaster Flash is here. Introducing the disco dream on the mean machine, the Darth Vader on the slide, Vader, no one could. Anyway, I can go on forever. Flash. My memories of him are greater than the yachts I got on, are greater than the trips I took around the world. My memories of the culture exploding. DJ Hollywood, right now, Mama in your neighborhood. Yes, once again, it's Hollywood. Watching that stuck in my memory today. I'm 65. Right now, I can remember those things a lot more vividly. They made a much greater impression on my heart than all of the stuff that I got. In fact, I've abandoned most of the stuff because it doesn't make me happy. But my memories in hip hop make me happy, and in fact, they give me. Uh, a thankfulness, a, a, a gratefulness comes from the experiences that I had with these hip hop artists. The LL Cool J and Public Enemy and Slick Rick and De La Soul and Tribe Called Quest and Eric B and Rakim and Big Daddy Kane and you know all of those artists who I work with all the way up until Ludacris and Foxy Brown and you know all of that. I've seen all that shit and I'm still here. And I guess I look good. I have this house I built here in Bali in this hotel next door. And I have a talent agency. In fact, I'm still making all this money because I said that the worth of a, a man's career is how many people have you made successful? We made hundreds of people, millionaires, many of them. Most of them, so many millionaires. Leo and Cohen, who runs YouTube, and Julie Greenwald, who's the most successful woman in the history of music business, and record label of the year every year, and record executive of the year, Kevin Lyle. These are people who came from the root, and my root uh, is T.J. Hollywood, Cool Hurt, Eddie Chiba. So don't forget your roots, academics. Is that how you pronounce it? Like the clothing brand? Stop it. Just, you know, pause and be grateful for those who came before you who built your life I don't know how much, how wealthy you are, how many boats you float on, how many cars you own. How many people have you made rich? How many people have you made successful who have made their families successful? What have you done for the culture, most importantly? <clears throat> I know Kanye's songs and I know, uh, I know Drake's songs. I don't know you. 
I know I sound like Stacy Dash. I don't know you, nigga, at all. I don't know what you made. But I wish you well. God bless you, and Hip Hop 50 is coming, so God bless Hip Hop. And this is a Yankee hat. Put it on for you. God bless you. <laughs>